Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. And some, and some today, I'm going to be taking you through some F1 2021 game news. As you can see on the screen, we have uh, some screenshots that I've been able to uh, gather, and also some information that I've gathered. So this isn't gameplay, unfortunately, because Codemasters and I don't have a very good relationship, um, to be honest. So yes i can't remember who it was i think it was ar raven uh there were glitches already so and it's it's not when it's not the game's not even come out yet so a lot a lot a lot of work needs to be done but as you can see we have more than what i thought we were gonna i thought i'd be just reading off some uh some news articles but i've actually managed to find some screenshots which should make up for the lack of gameplay now obviously I've got the, the screen you've been watching is just the general um, uh, HUD. I believe that somebody has customised their, um, excuse me, the mileometer and the RPM and the mile, miles per gallon you can see. Again it's just a generation year on year. I do believe though out of all of this there's a new damage model which I don't have an image of unfortunately. But basically, well, when they say new damage model, they've added the floor and I think the side walls as well. So they now, those two things are now added to the damage model. What we don't know is if they're going to work in the same way that the current damage model has been working for the past few years. So until until I get my hand, hands on it and we start playing the game, a lot 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 more than what we can do we're, we're not going to find that out but the user interface oh, i don't like it to be honest um we've got this uh lap counter i think this is from a qualifying session again it, it's not from me it's somebody on a p on a on a ps4 by the looks or a ps5 rather by the looks of it uh graphic graphics by the way it's, there, there, there is a there is an improvement um, so it's obviously operating at a higher end of the current um, model um, graphics model thing, but obviously it's not uh, not a new one. Uh, I don't like this lap dash one and position four. I know they've gone with the generic um, uh, F1 2021, like the game menus are a very F more official looking now, but. I don't like this okay I don't like it nowadays in when F1 I, I want to see this on one line I don't want position 4 this is just gopping okay so yeah I think this needs to be more customizable um, being able to I want I want to be able to choose if to have it on two lines that's where I think we need to go next with the customizability of it other than that I, th I don't know if we've got the same five drivers or not um, on that hard um there's not a lot apart from they obviously uh, made this a bit more which to be honest i don't and i'm not i'm not a fan of this either to be honest because I t and i'll tell you why yeah i don't need to see the rpn i need to see my speed i i know i know where you're a cis player like me you don't need to see the rpm but seeing his speed I, I like to look over and see what speed and what gear i'm in uh on that side i don't think that th this isn't this isn't big enough for me personally um side and this gear there's too much emphasis on the gear and not enough on them on this on the miles per hour i'm afraid um so it's it's a downgrade for me personally but um, let me know what you think about that anyway we've got we have also got some images of the menus it's very i don't want to say this but it's a very ea look about it obviously this is just a selector team menu like you would do if you were driving in i think this is actually um driver career mode selecting a team because you this is there's a custom number on that alpine uh, bearing in mind that these aren't the final models this is the fom car i should point out um on the screen now but personally i 
um, it look it, it looks don't get me wrong it's an upgrade but it looks very like it was used on FIFA 20 um, when they the backgrounds for all grey it looks a bit like that uh, I don't I don't mean to be funny about it but that's what it looks like um, and the thing is yes the backgrounds are grey but that's not what the the um, logo is not grey um, in previous Coco Masters games the logo colour has affected the um, the menu uh, colours but this is just well it's grey and as I said as I if you follow me on Twitter as I said back when F1 back when FIFA 20 came out it's, it's bland it looks like something from the 1990s potentially I like what they've done with this shaping and stuff it's just a shame they can't a bit more coloring uh, for the rest of the um, of the menu we also have got those some R&D now R&D has got a major shake up this year the tree has gone okay it, it's pretty much this now gone back to a menu system it's a little bit more um, uh, interesting because you've got on this powertrain you've got supplier upgrades which is again is something good because they've kept that in so obviously if you like even if you are in a factory team you still have those supplier upgrades um, come in then obviously you've got uh, the stuff that you can work on and I think this is that yes this is an improvement um, it gives I suppose it makes a little bit more um, gives a bit more to what you need to upgrade a um, bit more meaning really by showing you um, the valve timing for example the turbo size uh, the wastegate attribute, attribute it gives you a little bit of an image of it um, uh, it's for me um, doing them all in a row looks like F1 2016 uh, you can of course do simultaneous upgrades and I don't know whether or not by doing one upgrade unlocks two I know it definitely un will unlock one but whether or not doing certain upgrades so let's say I only do valve timing and then it unlocks something else down the line again I'm not an engineer I don't have an engineering background so hopefully they've got an, an, somebody who is an engineering background to say okay um, with an engine we, we, we would generally work on this first and then go to work once you've done upgraded this we'd go and work on that so hopefully they've done that and it's not just uh, an eeny meeny miny mo thing that they've done Career settings, we've also got a screenshot of this. R&D management, meet the press. We still, well, as I say, we hope Will Buxton is the one because, uh, let's be honest, in my drive, Career Mode F1 2020, we haven't seen him since last, last July. We've seen him once in driver career mode, once, and that was it in the paddock. So, yes, R&D, but you've got the option to R&D management. Uh, you have the option though which again there's more options I do feel for this game um, where you can um, you have the option for R&D to be managed by the team which is very interesting to see how that will be an interesting exper game experiment to see how much actually gets done by the team that you're driving for as well and then you've also got um, team acclaim you can manage all of this as well um, whether or not you want to fiddle about so they've added options which is was needed and then we got player faults so this is something that we've been asking for for ages is random failures confirmed fault types high uh, fault frequency standard so again I don't know what faults I presume there's like tire blowouts hopefully the AI will get affected like they give what well, basically the same faults that they give here are given to the AI as well hopefully and then we've got um, another R&D we got a bit of practice actually um, 
we got quick practice which earns resource and development boosts without having to drive the practice programs yourself doesn't that sounds sounds a little bit little bit like you're simulating the practice or you're doing one lap I don't know if this is simulation or not if it's just another word for simulating the practice because that's what it from that description that's what it sounds like obviously though they give you three um, you don't have pro practice programs you've got uh, three programs every practice session it will depend uh, you've got to uh, build knowledge for um, it's more R&D related as a, um, that you will get knowledge on and then that will hopefully um, uh, boost the development basically that's what the practice programs are going to be all about in F1 2021 and then we've got some simulation settings as well AI difficulty 1 to 110 as you well, not 100 percent surface type is a new one um, realistic so um, hopefully they've l taken a look at how the, obviously they've got floor damage now so they need to see if you are bouncing over the curbs you could damage your floor basically our recovery mode they've got flashbacks unlimited which will be of course um, for me because there are a lot for me see car damage is a bit more you do have the option to turn it off in career mode now uh, car damage rate is something new simulation which doesn't happen enough sometimes low fuel mode um, because obviously as I said earlier um, there's no rich mix anymore rich mix is dead max max fuel is dead they made this very uh, realistic obviously you can change this in the settings uh, race starts collisions and the surface and car cast temperatures are back which um very annoying if if they haven't looked at tire temperatures because of all the p things that we've been playing in like season five and having major issues with the tire temperatures the final uh, swing i've got is of will buxton i hope it, we, it looks like we're going to see him a little bit more especially in breaking point where uh, he's going to be interviewing me a bit more the cgi stuff's are going to be there as well will we see him in the other mode we'll have to wait and see there's been no mention of claire but then she didn't get mentioned anyway in the build up to f1 2020 you know it got so far that i thought that she wasn't even in the game but she still managed to get into f1 2020 whether or not she's in f1 2021 we'll have to wait and see um, especially if they given all the modes um, all the time and the money to breaking, making breaking point. Right, those are the screenshots over. We now move to um, the articles, which uh, you can catch all the screenshots and the article even for yourselves in the description below. By the way, but basically, um, it's just a few things I want to confirm. Breaking point will be racing as Aiden Jackson, so and we'll start in F two back in 2019 apparently um, so yes um, 2019 is going to be there uh, before moving to F1 for 2020 and 2021 five to six hours five to six hours of gameplay um, is that enough no I don't think it is because let's be honest I somebody could do a long stream I could probably do a long stream for six hours and get but just do one video of all of that that's a, the, that, that should not be worth I think the optimum you're going to be looking for in the future from breaking point is going to be a little bit more um, we got Devin Butler and there's that other bloke um, Ackerman whatever his name is um, who might be as has been suggested um, might be the villain as well we've got a bit about co-op as well um, we've got contracts which I think I'll explain and I've got on another article R&D as well we've as you've seen is moving away from the, the tree which I don't know it looks a bit too much like real racing 3 for me but there we go We've also got the focus stat mentioned for the first time as 
well, um, which is impacted by team activities, performance and press questions, um, which has been expanded, which hopefully, as I've said before, doesn't have Claire answering ridiculous questions, otherwise focus of our teammate. Again, I presume that means also because if if you've got a focus, as the, your driver's got a focus, and I presume then the, the AI drivers should have a focus. So presumably we might see some press clippings as well, or something along that line from the press as well. Um, probably definitely for racing point, but whether or not we see that, sorry, breaking point, excuse me, whether or not we see the in the other game modes, we'll have to wait and see. China, I uh, should point out, is included because it features it in breaking point, so it is on the game, but it's not available in career mode because it's not in the ca it's not actually on the calendar, and sprint mode's not going to be there as well. F two, of course, will be there as well. Multiplayer, um, social play option is to try and make it easier. I haven't nobody? I don't think anybody say there as well. Um, stickers we can add stickers to the halo as well which is a bit more customization but I think we'd love to be able to customize our helmets more than customizing the halo really um, as well but we'll have to wait and see what uh, stuff we get through the podium pass which you're gonna don't whatever you do do not buy anything from there because it's probably not worth it now the next article is a little bit interesting because um, it tells you about rushing stuff. Now obviously F1 2020 we have rushing, you can rush it and if it fails you just repurchase it later on down the line. A little bit like when it fails. But um, apparently this last sentence, if you're wanting it to get fitted for the next race rather than let the engineers take your time, it can have a detrimental impact on your entire career. So I'm hoping that there's a relationship or some mechanic in there that if you're rushing your engineers, then certain teams maybe not might not want to sign you in driver career mode. That would be quite a night, uh, quite a nice, uh, excuse me, career uh, little mechanic. Same team if you're in my team, maybe you're hiring engineers, and if you've been rushing them for R and D, then certain engineers won't want to join your team for example that would be a nice mechanic I don't know if it's going to be in there though so going back to practice sessions uh, as we know we've got three challenges um, obviously you've got uh, how you treat your tires basically um, the, the, the although they're aimed a little bit improving the car's developments it's also um, based on how you drive so um, prolonging the tire life and stuff that you'd expect from a practice session really can't been able to calculate the race strategy um, the, which pit stops fuel load maybe if you can under fuel the car for example um, stuff like that we've, which we've seen as part of the core parts of practice for the past four or five years now as well one thing that isn't mentioned i do think would be nice to see is the track climatization program i do feel that casual players would probably gain even if it doesn't give you any r d points that'd be nice to still have that option and uh, quality sim as well isn't mentioned so we'll see although bearing in mind there isn't fuel mode so it's just literally about strapping the soft tire on so there's not that much worth it so I, I guess that's why there isn't a quality sim available anymore um, taking part, part in race weekends aren't just about the final race everything you do feeds into your progress as a racer and a member of an organization be it my team or driver career mode so there's definitely a lot of off I think there's hopefully going to see a few of the off on off screen mechanics that they we've got from uh, racing point excuse me breaking point move across to the my team and driver career mode but having focus on hitting objectives provides a reason to think broadly about every facet of performance the presentation of career is done from the presenter segments which 
I don't know whether or not that's just Crofty introducing it, whether they've got somebody else or how that's going to work. Um, pit management screen, which I think is just um, as you start the race, uh, I believe, um, as well. And there's also a new handling model as well. Um, there's, an, as you've seen, the expert settings, so you can choose which uh, assist you want as well. Um, which again, I, I think it's just I I there that I am getting better personally as a noob because a lot of the new assists that they've added I don't use because I'm used to use playing at one with the old assists we're not having these assists so I don't have them on but bear in mind that you can hopefully you can customize your experience like I do every game yes uh, one of the interesting bits about breaking point is that you'll join a team you'll choose one of five teams to race for a racing point Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tari, Haas or Williams. So they've got fully rendered CG uh, cutscenes. I wouldn't call, and this one says it's professional writing team, but I can confirm um, that Darren Brown apparently may have may not have written it at some point. And the final bit of news, because I do appreciate this has been a little, a little bit much um, all at once, so do feel free to watch this video again to um, get your head around everything. But basically, um, comes for co-op uh, career. Um, you can play career solo as usual, or you can have a, fr a friend play with you either in co-op or contracts. Now, contracts sees your friend racing for another team and you'll compete on on the track and battle to take on contracts so you're basically battling to see to get uh, uh, again bat what contracts that's with that maybe you'll get battling to get a better contract with a better team if you start off like an, a Williams or a, a Williams v Haas for example you're vying for a contract in the Mercedes or Ferrari that's actually quite nice to see and again I hope that a lot of this stuff it looks like they built a lot of a lot of stuff it just needs then all the good stuff that could be reutilized elsewhere flows across between the game modes that's what we want to see again there's not much about multiplayer grand prix mode i mean that hasn't had an upgrade since 1852 so don't expect much there and time trial they pretty much done all the upgrades they needed to in f 2020 so you've got there's, there's a there's a lot there we'll just wait and see if the game actually works or um if multiplayer is as bad as people have been saying on f1 2020 but that's where I'm going to leave it today. If you have enjoyed, then leave a like. Subscribe to the channel and you see plenty more episodes of F1 2021 game news. As when they come out. Um, if I find anything else that's interesting, it's worth a video, then I will, of course, uh, make another video. Um, but yes, until the next video, which will be on Friday, I'll see you next time. Take care, enjoy your day, and goodbye. Thank you.